Knowing exactly how and when tax dollars are spent by city workers should matter to everyone who lives in Cincinnati. Right, but what happens when dollars and cents don't add up? WLWT News 5 investigative reporter Todd Dykes joins us now with a look at lawsuits filed against the city and the missing money trail. Hundreds of thousands of tax dollars are on the line each year. Lawyers who work for Cincinnati have tough jobs requiring a lot of know how in the courtroom. But when it comes to keeping track of settlements and payouts, the city's legal team could use some accounting help. From police involved car crashes to mishaps involving snow plows, the city of Cincinnati, which employs nearly 6,000 workers, faces a lot of lawsuits every year. There are literally hundreds of cases. While proud of the work his colleagues do to defend the city, Assistant City Solicitor Terry Nestor knows when it comes to keeping track of settlements and judgment payouts, the law department has dropped the ball. I think it's true that the spreadsheet that you have that lists all the city cases may not be complete. The spreadsheet Nestor is referencing lists civil suits filed against Cincinnati since 2009, indicating that overall the city paid more than $4.1 million in judgments. But that number is misleading because not every penny is accounted for. And I know because I spent about 25 hours examining the records that I requested from the city's law department. The document lists more than 1,800 lawsuits. In nearly 100 entries, no case type is listed. And there are close to two dozen settlements with no financial terms noted. Whether or not it's entered in particular in our databases is, you know, hit and miss. In some cases, the city had to pay court costs, which again are not included on the spreadsheet, all of which makes it tough to determine what kind of suits are most common and exactly how much the city has paid out. So I think there's an accountability problem, you know? Attorney John Helbling, who's taken Cincinnati to court more than once, knows city attorneys are not accountants, but he believes there's value in keeping better records. If you're going to get better at anything, you track it. I asked city manager Harry Black what he thinks about the data tracking in the law department. It doesn't frustrate me because, unfortunately, it's the norm uh, in the public sector. But Black says that's about to change, thanks to the city's new Office of Performance and Data Analytics. It's going to allow us to be able to analyze and measure our work activity uh, so that we can make strategic decisions. Measuring legal outcomes like settlement amounts in a better way makes sense to Terry Nestor, who hopes to make missing data entries a thing of the past. I think going forward it will not be hit and miss because the new administration is concentrating its effort to understand the city's data, and I think that will be a good thing for all of the departments. Now, no one is suggesting the city's law department is misusing taxpayer money, and Terry Nestor says he can always find out financial information if necessary, but tracking data has been lacking in the law department, which does not bode well for a city striving for transparency. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. A Cincinnati spokesman says the city is setting new goals now. The Office of Performance and Data Analytics is now working to make sure, from now on anyway, data tracked by the city will be more accessible to the public.